We're here. We're live. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that shit. You guys already know we're back here again. Back here again. As you guys are already aware, we lost again on the weekend. Well, you guys were all here last week in general. Um, the day the day off still went ahead on Sunday, and we're gonna talk about that only because that's still been doing the rounds around Twitter over the last twenty four hours. There's also the dreaded vote of confidence for Pochettino. And we're not even in December. Oh my gosh. But as you guys already know, the circus continues. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Like, subscribe. Big up to Joey. Yeah, we're on the road to... We're, we're hitting four, We're hitting 40k before Chelsea is 40 points. We actually are. Oh, fuck. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, we'll start off with the Poch vote of confidence. And Fabrizio um, posted yesterday, I don't know if it was on his YouTube channel or if he tweeted it, but he said Chelsea's position is still to trust Pochettino. His job is not at risk at this stage. Chelsea know it's a young team and will still take time. Well, will we'll take some time. The club are not so happy with the current situation and want to see improvements, but owners and directors trust Pochettino. Now, what I'm saying is, Pop, is Fabrizio did not get that briefing for no reason. And I, I believe pressure's quietly starting to build. We did hear little hints from the likes of Fraser Fletcher, Simon Phillips. I think Top Skills Sports as well tried to hint that pressure is building on Poch a little bit because we have to get back into the UCL this season or ideally just get back into Europe. So I don't think it's at boiling point with Poch right now, but it's definitely heating up. It's definitely heating up and the pressure should be on him too. And yeah, Gavban, you're correct. You're correct. They said the same thing about Potter too. Um, CCP, I'll have a look. I'll have a look when I send the link out. But yeah, I'm not surprised that pressure is building. This isn't a lack of patience thing from the board or anything. This is just looking at things as we see it. As of right now, we will have four wins in the Premier League by December. Four wins. We've conceded three less goals than Luton. I think I'll turn that a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we've conceded three less goals than Luton. We've scored less than the entire top 10, except Man United. We struggle defending set pieces. We struggle attacking set pieces. The final third play is non-existent and it looks disjointed as fuck half the time. Other than moments of magic, of course. We don't beat enough of the big teams. We struggle against the defensive-minded teams lower down the table. There is, there is no reason why there isn't, why there shouldn't be pressure on Poch. But it's up to him. It's up to him how he turns things around over the next few weeks. Same thing with the players as well, but Poch is meant to be the one getting, getting the best out of them. He's the one always making questionable lineups, making excuses all the time. And then the one time this guy shows a little bit of backbone, what does he do? He folds. Folds like a steel chair at a WWE event. Fucking ridiculous. So, I'm not surprised there's pressure on Potch already. He's dug his own grave in that regard. Now you need to climb out of it. Climb out of it. Dalvik, forget February. Give him till Christmas. Give him till Christmas and see how he handles Brighton, United, the more open games. Then see how he handles the low blocks that come after that. Then... And only then will we probably get a better answer of where we are on the potch. Give him till February if you can guarantee one or Tony, one of Tony or Oshimen is joining. No questions asked. Because then maybe you can see how he reacts with, with them. But past that, he's got to get results now. Like, I know it was one win in, I mean, one loss in eight before we lost to Newcastle. But it was only three wins in that time. We have only won four Premier League games. By the time December hits, four league games. That's it. That's terrible. We can't say that that's progression. That's not progression. That's a backward step. It's literally a backward step. So, he's got the dreaded vote of confidence. We need to see what he does in the next few games. Because before, I could say I, I back my defence. Now, we're leaking goals for fun. 
We've conceded nine in our last three. So I don't know. I don't know. Can't say potch out. I'm still potched out, but there's a lot of doubt. There is a lot of doubt. Um, if Potch doesn't have pressure on him, I don't know what the fuck our fan base is watching. This owner, which I've backed, needs to look at him and think, can this guy do... Yeah, I think he's doing that now. I think he's doing that now. Obviously, Bowley and the board are going to come into question as well if Potch doesn't work out because this is another manager that they brought in that didn't work and we have to question their manager ID. But... We can't get to the conclusion already that he's not good enough and say get Poch out and all of that shit. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Very close. I don't blame people who are Poch out right now. I know Jimmy, I think, is already Poch out. Don't blame him. Don't blame him at all. I want to see how he digs himself out of this situation, though. Because now this whole we play better against the better teams, that narrative seems to have taken a giant hit after Saturday. So... Now, where is the ray of light coming from? Where is the ray of light coming from? Initially, it was meant to be after the fucked run of fixtures. Then it was the fucked run of fixtures because we're meant to play better in that run. Now we've only got one win in that run against a nine-man Tottenham who played a high line. And it still took us to the 75th minute to even pattern that. So where is the ray of light? That's what I need to know. If Chelsea doesn't have a decent December, are you out then? Probably. I can't say yes or no. It's all contextual. But all I know, Poch can make all the right decisions in December and the attack is just a bag of crap. And if that's the case, I can't get at him. Well, depends. If they, Are they missing a lot of chances or are they just destroying to the spot? Again, in context. There could be a million different scenarios. So I can't say it right now. All I'm saying is there's another couple of games and I need to see it. So, I not yet. Not yet. I said, you say, you say, idiots, you're saying potch, pour out from early. Why aren't you potch out? Hey, yeah, that must be to the comments. That must be to the comments. I stuck with Potter way longer than I should have, in all honesty. I was way too patient with that guy. That's why I'm not trying to drink the Kool-Aid with potch. I'm looking at everything with him and I'm saying, this don't make sense. And this don't make sense. And this don't make sense. This is clueless. Oh, this makes sense. Oh, you've gone back on your word. Now you're a dickhead. It's pointless. It's pointless. Um, what else was there? So Nizar Kinsella said, Source have since confirmed that, that the Chelsea players were allowed their time off with Poch having only raised the idea of an early return to training as a possibility. Why the fuck did you bring it up then? What was even the point? For anyone who didn't see the quotes, he said, we were talking in the dressing room after the game. Um, we should go directly to the hotel and sleep and start to train pot, um, train early in the morning and not have a day off. Now, I know some people have spoke with the about the logistics of it all, but realistically, they don't have to stay at the hotel. Go home. Get a train. Get a coach. Get a plane. I don't care. Leave early. Leave the hotel early. Go back to Cobham and train. But there should have been some sort of punishment for that for that performance. Nobody played well. Nobody stood up. Instead, there was the threat of a punishment. And then they didn't follow through on it. That don't make sense to me. Show authority and follow through on it. If you have kids and they don't follow your punishments, the behavior doesn't change. So what are we doing? What are we doing? It's, which is a real shame as well, because I heard those the comments post press conference and I actually thought fair play fair play now it's like hopeless it's just fucking hopeless stuck with Potter until Spurs away I, I, la I lasted till the week before I was slowly turning after the January window I started getting at Potter against West Ham Fulham thing against Dortmund then the Southampton bullshit and I was like yep yeah, no hands washed I'm not wasting my time no more not wasting my time. You ain't it, bruv. You ain't it. But yeah, why even hint that you're going to make them train the next day only to not do it? Now you don't look serious. Now you don't look serious. It was so annoying when I saw those quotes on the stream yesterday. So fucking annoying. Um, Poch also feels his Chelsea squad 
are too soft, and he wants his captain to take a leading role in stamping it out. Now, there's two sides to this. I kind of agree with him, because we've been soft for years, bar like Tuchel's first 12 months, and I say first 12 months, because after that it all went to shit. But bar the first 12 months, we've been a soft-ass team since Diego Costa left. But this does also feel like a bit of an excuse from Poch too. <coughs> because we've gained plenty of points from losing positions, like against Spurs, against Liverpool, against City, against Burnley. City, we came back three times. We press well, we get stuck into fouls, so I can't say they're soft. I do question the mentality of the team, but I also question the mentality of the manager. So it's pointless questioning the mindset of the team when the manager gives me so little faith and he's the one that's meant to be instilling the faith, um, not the faith, the mentality into these players. So it's like a double-edged sword. I kind of agree our squad's too soft, but our manager's too soft. They're all soft. It all goes together. Poch don't help himself. Constant excuses, questionable lineups, reactive subs, all the lot. So, if you feel the Chelsea squad are too soft, cool, I feel like you're too soft. So, it goes both ways. It really and truly goes both ways. Um, Warrior, Capital Conflict will be tomorrow, bro. Um, yeah, it was meant to be today, but Northside is travelling back from Spain. So, we're probably going to try tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll do Thursday. Um, after the UCL games and everything like that. Jimmy made such a... Yeah, it was a shame Jimmy was driving. I was here for the cook sesh. But yeah, I agree. How could our players be... And I'll say the same thing for these quotes about our squad being too soft. How can the players get better when the manager is soft too? The same thing. Same energy applies. Like, a manager with a strong mentality feeds into the players. The whole old guard and everything, their mentality was built from Jose Mourinho, prime Mourinho. If they had Poch, they probably wouldn't have had the same mentality. But they had Mourinho. That's the difference. Chelsea squad is too soft. I wonder why, bruv. I fucking wonder why. Maybe when they have tactics to protect the point against a winless Bournemouth side, Maybe they are going to get a little bit soft-chested. Maybe. Leading the chart in yellow cards. Yeah, so even then, it's soft to a point. Soft to a point. I, just, I feel like we're soft in the sense that after we can see the goal, we, start, we seem to fold. We do seem to fold. Now, there has been times where we come back, but there's also times where we fold. Man said, at this point, bring back Jose. Hey. Couldn't be worse. Couldn't be worse. 